In this video, I will show you how you can clear the cache files of DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. Also, I will show you in the second part of this video how you can redirect the cache files to your SSD drive because normally, default, everything will be stored inside of your iPad. So even if you're using an SSD drive, all of your cache files will always be stored on the iPad. And I show you a way how you can change that. Hi, if you're new to the channel, I'm Daniel. I'm a filmmaker and blogger from Germany. And this channel is now all about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. So if you're into that, consider subscribing and ding a ding the bang bang gong. Open the files app and under files go to my iPad on my iPad and then we see the folder DaVinci Resolve and here in this folder you will find cache clips. So everything that is inside here you can just basically select and say delete. That's how you clear your cache files from that one. Also here in this one you will also find all the images that you capture here on the capture. You will also find all the fusion elements and you will also find all the proxy medias that you have. You can also delete this stuff. Select delete. To double check how much storage we still have we can always go here to settings and under general you will find iPad storage. And if you let this one run through, it will show you how full your iPad is and it will also show you which of the apps and locations are using the most of the storage. So in my case, I have 180 gigabytes from my 256 and I can see I'm using 52 gigabytes on my iPad, 28 gigabytes on my photos and DaVinci Resolve, before I started clearing the cache, it was like 30 gigabytes just in DaVinci Resolve. So over time, all your cache files will add up and add up and add up. Another way how you can clear Clear up the space of your iPad if you actually go over to the Photos app. Let's say you have videos that are really large, but you don't know which of them are the largest. Under the storage thing, you can go to your photos, and then under photos, you can go to preview personal videos. On the top, you will see those ones who have the most capacity. So if I just delete, for example, those first five or six, I will already release a couple of gigabytes just because of that. I will show you another trick that you actually can do in DaVinci Resolve, but most people will never use it. And I'm, I'm honest, also me included, I will probably never use it. But DaVinci Resolve has an option. When we go into DaVinci Resolve and we open the shortcuts menu, and now we go down to playback. Here under playback, there is an option that's called delete render cache. And I gave this keyboard shortcut now, all selected clips unused, all a keyboard shortcut like control nine. And if I'm in a project and I have rendered cache files and if I don't need them anymore, I can just hit control nine. Are you sure you wanna delete those cache files? And those cache files are just the cache files from that project alone. So for example, if you're done with your project, you could use this key to just delete the cache files so you don't have to go into the folder. But I'm very honest with you, what happens over time is I will forget this and then over time the cache folder will fill up. And the first way that I showed you today is how you can delete those cache files. Another way how you can delete files from your machine is of course you go into the Photos app and just delete the videos that you have here in there. Let's say I delete those videos and I delete those three. But now keep in mind, they are not gone yet. You still have a folder called recent deletes. And if you open that one, you will see I have a lot of footage still in here. So this footage still takes space on my machine. So I can select now all of those and say delete all, boom and now they are gone. The same that I just showed you with the Photos app is actually true for the files that you have on your iPad. So if you go back here to all my storage and I go into on my iPad, you will see now all the folders that have stuff in it. But if we scroll down here, you will see bin. This is the empty bin, all the medias that were deleted in the past. So I can also say here empty bin. So this will delete all those files. You can of course also open this one if you go to the files folder and just do recently deleted and it will show up here. And that way we can also select all of them here, select all, delete, delete all, yes, boom. And now those files are actually really deleted from our system. But hey Daniel, what if you have an external SSD drive and you wanna store all your cache files on the external SSD drive? Mm -hmm. I will show you now how you can set it up so it is permanently on the SSD drive. So for that, let's start a new project just as a test, test 555. So, and here under project settings, go to the project settings and under general options, you will find here this render cache. And at the moment, the cache location, don't be confused. It has such weird wordings, but basically what it is documents. The first one is the application. It's DaVinci Resolve documents cache clip is exactly the folder that is on your iPad. If you want to change it, you just simply go in here browse and now we go to the external SSD drive and I will create a new folder it's called dr cache and I select that one open 
So now the whole path has changed. So, but now the most important, if you just hit save for that one project, it will be changed. But the next time you open a project or you create a new project, it will go back to default settings. So we have to change the default settings. How do we do this? When we go up here to the three dots, save current setting as preset. And I will call this one 1080p because it's a 1920 by 1080p project settings, cache SSD. And we are still not done. You have to do one more thing. So now we created this preset. We can always go to this preset. You don't have to change the settings again. We still have to say set current settings as default preset. Yep, update and save. When we now start video editing and bringing stuff in and we get stuff into the timeline and save, if we now hover over to the files app and we go to the external SSD and we look at the Rinch Resolve cache file, it created a folder exactly 1238. That's the time we have 1239 at the moment. Let's go back to DaVinci just to show you that this actually works. Let's start a new project. Test 6666, create import media, open and save. Let's look at the files, cache clip, 1239, it created a new one. So this is the way how you can save your cache files also to your external hard drive. I hope you learned something. If you liked this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong. I'm Daniel and we see us in the next video. Bye.